Good morning everyone. Day 15 of our level 4 lockdown and um, it's a really sleepy dog kind of day today. Our, um, our tutu is just lying in her bed and pretending to sleep. She's a good girl. Anyway, um, I finished the edge on this purple hug last night and one of the things that you need to do when you've finished and think you've finished is actually hold your work up and have a good look and have a have a good look at it check for any ends that you haven't you haven't stitched in yet and I've got a few so I'm just gonna do those um, so last night I started on a new Netflix series and it's Polish. It's called The Crime. And um, it's not as gritty, it's not as dark as the Russian stuff I've been watching. Uh, but it's still pretty gritty. And um, the interesting thing about the, um, the whole watching foreign movies thing is the um, I haven't listened to Polish before and it's quite hard to get my head around when um, and distinguish the words so um, I found it harder to listen to than all the Russian movies that I've been watching but I have to say that I've been watching Russian stuff for the last year and starting to hear and understand and enjoy the language, even if their movies are ridiculously dark and um, super mad gritty. Anyway, um, the whole Polish thing was a, a quite... A lot lighter. Anyway, I'm just stitching in these ends. I've um, also put together a video of still shots of all of the hugs that I have completed at the moment. Um, and this one is one of them. And I'll put that up as well today. Um, yeah. So anyway, stitching in these ends and then I can put it down and show you um, what I did last night because it's something really, um, still making a hug but on a size 15. So um, I'll show you and then I'll get one started so you can see how that looks and talk about how to find materials for a size 15 hug and why I would even want to do one. So here we go, pulling in these ends uh, 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 in a hurry because I want to show you and I will just settle down and put that aside I think. I really like making ends disappear. It's the best magic trick. Sort of just sliding your crochet, your little crochet hook under your already made crocheting. I have seen uh, another lady uh, use a darning needle and then show you tips and tricks on how to thread a darning needle. But a lot of these... Uh, chunkier walls won't go through a darning needle and it's a lot of effort when you really don't need to make that kind of effort if you've got a smaller crochet hook. If you don't have a smaller crochet hook then and you do have a darning needle by all means use what you have available to you. Um, yeah it's not about making it harder it's making it your way. And you, if you have another way of doing it, then I didn't do it. 
yeah, don't hold back. Anyway, there we go. One perf purple hug, I declare complete. And thank you for spending time with me and making it. And it's a goodie. Right. So, last night I started this. It's a size 15 heavy hug and I'm making it for someone who would benefit from a weighted blanket and I've made it with a really heavy center so that when it's folded it, you really get a squish and you really get good pressure on your chest. Anyway. It's got a few more rows to go, but the trick with this is finding the materials to put in it. So I've seen um, I've s so I'll find you a label. Can you see that? Um, it's the stuff that they like spread out and then pull up the side and make fancy frilly scarves out of. Well, I don't bother to do that. I just start crocheting. So um, I am going to start on a colour that's not going to interfere. You can get really super chunky wools as well. So, I put it put aside. Yeah, here we go. Right, so this is a different one again. It it's kind of like a wide soft lace um, I'm not even sure what it's called because the label is long since left um, but you do the same thing you tie your loop and you do your six chain one three four five six and then you go into the first chain that you did, pull your yarn through and then do your three, three chain and then start doing your two trebles to make your set of three and And your three chain for your corner. So you could use t-shirts, old t-shirts and chop them up so that you do a like a continuous line all the way up the body of the t-shirt cutting it and and use that to crochet. Um, and when you use a really nice big hook for it, you um, don't get as tight a crochet and it looks less like a doormat. Although you could make doormats if you wanted, um, but for hug purposes, we're making hugs. Yeah, anyway. Um, have a good day. Check out my other video with all the finished hugs on it.